Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome to Getting Blue. I'm Steve Fall. How are you? And of course, with me, my tag team partner, Ms. Chrissy Love. Hello. Chrissy Love, how are you doing today? I'm okay. Yourself? What's going on? Happy oh, Friday. Happy Friday, indeed. This, this weekend, we're going to have NWA Always Ready. I talked to Matt Cardona, Nick Aldis, right. Chelsea Green, yes, and then yes. Matt Cardona again. So it's been a fun week promoting NWA Always Ready. It's coming on pay-per-view. I cannot wait to see it because I have no idea what's going to happen. And <laughs> I interviewed all those people, some of them twice, asking them, what's going to happen? Because you're injured. You can't, Matt Cardona is injured. He can't defend the championship. Right. Is he going to hand it over? Will someone wrestle for him? Oh, the answers yeah. are on those podcasts. So yes, check them out. I would say you have to watch to see. You have to you know, see, folks. But on this show, we talk about SmackDown, the good, the bad, the what the heck moments. And of course, the end of the show, we hand out the most valuable, most valuable award, the most valuable entertainer. On the mm -hmm. show, we start with the good, though. My good is good, though, winning the Intercontinental Championship against Ricochet. Why? Because it's always fun to watch another man slap the crap out of somebody else. It just imagines me in my house when I'm cooking and a fly somehow gets in there and I'm just whipping my hand around yeah, and trying all to get day it. long, <laughs> fucking smashing it against the cabinet. Mother, oh God, why'd I do that? Are you trying to catch it with your hand? Yeah. 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 And, mm -hmm. then it's, uh, and then it's like right on the, uh, the you're like, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Did I get it? I think I hit it. I think I hit it. No! <laughs> so watching Gunther slap around Ricochet and then winning the title makes me have good feelings about that championship because it really hasn't been on pay-per-views, the no. premium live events. And I, to me, if you don't, if you have your world champion Roman Reigns who seems to be injured and not wanting to wrestle lately, then let's elevate the IC yeah, to his championship. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think Gunther might have won here. But either way, I'm happy. Slap out the crap I'm out a little buddy. sad about it, actually, though. You liked Ricochet's run. I, I enjoyed it. I definitely I mean, enjoyed it. I mean, the the run that we did, you know, would see when they would put him on TV. But yes, the title doesn't mean anything really anymore. It's just mostly about the main titles. I feel like and all the tag titles and and that and the tag titles just really got a push. You know, and, you know. So, um, but yeah, Gunther, you know, I guess give him a meaningful time of why you brought him up and that you know, let him let him do his thing. So that yeah. is a good. Uh, your happy moment for today. Yeah, I was happy because again, I think I love Ricochet, but I think once you have a stamp, and again, I've talked to people and they've said, well, once Vince McMahon has an impression of you, it's very hard <laughs> to change it. Okay. So Ricochet probably had the stamp of you're a good worker, getting yeah. people over, and you're good at doing high flying moves. That's yeah. it. You're That's not really going to ever go up. Gunther has like the size, this look, a presentation cool entrance his own like announcer pretty much so there's a lot to this package that is good to be a, like a big heel take yeah. on your baby faces later on right right so it, this will probably be a really lengthy run for him he i see him going to maybe november december right make and it like meaningful just beat the crap out of the undercard and we'll see so maybe man soul will get a championship match soon <laughs> God, I don't want to see it, but okay. Yeah, well, well, who, who's on the undercard that can fight yeah. Gunther right now on SmackDown? SmackDown's Jinder Mahal, Slim Pickens. Oh, Shanky. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you just brought me back to Shanky. He's the best thing going. Uh, what, what, was, what was your good on SmackDown? Mine was uh, Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Oh, yeah. I, I can watch them like. And that you, it's fun because, you know, they're good friends and, you know, outside of wrestling, they're like best friends. So I feel like best friends always beat each other up, like good on purpose when they have to do, when they have to work together, you know, right. so they give out like their best, their best work when they're together. So that would be my good. Yeah. I can imagine like you described like, like this and you gotta hit me hard. Yeah. Hard. They're yeah. Like, he's like, uh, they're like. I'll hit you harder. No, I'll hit you harder. I'll right. stab you my sword. Oh, too far. You're right. <laughs> too far. Yeah, exactly, that was, exactly. That was definitely my good. Uh, that's a good that's a good moment, too. My bad, though, let's move on to bads, is the unfortunate travel complications for one Max Du <laughs> Shoot, He was supposed to announce that I was the next model think, for his agency, yeah. and unfortunately... Uh, he had travel complications, so he's in Europe right now. I blame Europe. 
I blame Europe for robbing us of this glorious moment. Right. Bastards. So that's my yeah. bad. Um, my bad is going to be Zia Lee. It's so unfortunate for her. And, you know, it's sad because, you know, she just came up not like a couple of months ago and you have, I can count on my hand how many times she's fought on TV. And now you bring Lacey Evans back, who's been gone from having a baby. She looks in impeccable shape. Why does she have to be the one that loses to Lacey though? It don't make any sense to me. I think at least it seems like Aaliyah at the, out of the three that I, wanna, I keep the, out of I the wanna, three I keep seeing involved with newer things. Shotzi, Aaliyah, and Zaylee. Oh, uh, you bring up Zaylee though. Even her matches, the the, yeah. anticip, the anticipation for her to come back was great. She showed up badass entrance. Yes, and she was like, but she protected. had no fla- she had no um electricity or you know lightning bolts last. Yeah, she had like this swords, thing. like uh, you know weapons. Which is, and, she it came back. And she's like a ninja goddamn ninja turtle, and yet she <laughs> she suddenly is like, I'm the protector of Aaliyah. And we're like, she's the protector of Aaliyah, and then here she is wrestling, and then wait, where'd she go? Oh, another SmackDown. She, where'd she where? Where is she? And she just disappeared. And one day oh, backstage, remember this? This is like weeks ago. Backstage, she's like, I'm not going to be anyone else's protector anymore. And I'm like, I'm sorry. Weren't right. you just a nice last time I saw you? Right. right. And then right. she disappeared again. And I'm like, yes. well, and then she finally showed again, up again. I can count on my hand. And it's only, it's not, I got, you know, two. And I, I can count on hands. one. <laughs> I can count on my one. Left our hands. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can, count, I can count on my one hand how many times this girl has been in that ring and she's fought someone and she's and she's won what one time every time else she's lost i know sad so sad so that's that's that was definitely i i mean i could use other things but that's definitely one of the worst ones for sure in my opinion do you think lacey evans has always been this golden child that really can never like i don't know hit that level like a charlotte flair like, how do you replace your Charlotte Flares? Well, you have to make new people. I always felt like Lacey Evans was given, like, these huge moments. Mm-hmm. And, like, she never was a jobber. She never, like, lost to a bunch of people. She, right, right. That's but, very true. I think so. So she's always been, like, almost somewhere, but she can't, like, In get the middle, there. She's like, she, she can't get to the top. But it's like she's, like, really mid-cardy. She's yeah, a good mid-card. but mid-carder. very protected mid-card. Very, very protective mid-card. For sure, I think so. I like. Um, I I don't think she's bad, but I think there are people who are better. For sh- absolutely, absolutely. I so, think Shanti is better than her. Agreed. I am one. I could get a tattoo to be Shanti Blackheart right here on my chest. And she's good. She has. She's good on the mic. She's everything. She's she's she's. And when when okay, well you'll get to. We, she, she spoke tonight. I'm like. You guys have been hiding her and she can like she can hold her own by herself. Mm-hmm. I wish you give her her tank back, though. Her tank and her rivalry. She had a rivalry with Sasha Banks for a little while. And I was like, oh, this is from Survivor Series. Okay. I'm like, oh, shit, this is so good. And then <laughs> I think, unfortunately, I think her father passed away. Oh, so I think she was taken off TV. It's that uh-huh. one. Or the injury. There was there was both things kind of happening at the same time, okay, and that's okay. why that storyline disappeared. And I was like, because if I go back to like 2016 SmackDown, I remember Nikki Bella and Carmella had a really good storyline. There yeah. were six women on SmackDown, and all six women had storylines, and they all were involved with each other. Mm-hmm. It was really good. Um, so hopefully Shotzi and Ronda Rousey can maybe do something because like there was some definitely some connection some there. there. Yeah, they um they 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 were good. I mean, it wasn't bad. So, you know, and we, we all know about Rhonda. So, yeah. True. My what the heck was my, my what the heck award was Lacey Evans defeating Zia Lee. And it's again, the, the Lacey Evans development of her suddenly like my daddy, he beat me and I, he drank a lot. I'm like, oh, OK, cool. Then when she we, goes to, you know, I'm like this, I'm married, this, uh, I was in the, the service and now she's saluting everybody. So she good or she bad? I'm confused. Uh, that is definitely a what the heck moment. I have to agree with you. 
Um, it's not that she beat it. I'm just her, like her whole gear, her whole gimmick. Like, what am I now supposed to believe about Lacey Evans? That's what the heck is like. What is happening? What the heck is this? Like, it's the not tosses, a... the wrist tossels. Like, what the? <laughs> then she has a G. Like she has like she has this Lita S outfit outfit on like i'm like what is going on here yeah i'm confused i'm totally confused like are we supposed to now forget about those vignettes we watched for weeks like i feel like i'm supposed to they do they're supposed to but i can't i remember them they're still there yes they I'm, shoved yes. it down they gave it to us every week i was gonna say yeah like they did like and oh she was on the verge God. of like crying every almost every vignette yeah well it's suddenly it's like i i don't want to suggest it but maybe this when you know producing you be like, I want more crying, Mary Martyrs. Your father hated you. It's like, is that real? I don't even know if that's really more. Is that Vince McMahon telling her what to do in the vignette? Because if it yeah. is, that's backstage, really good. that's really good. That's really good. Yeah. Jesus, God, who's <laughs> hound? <sighs> but again, I don't. I have no clue what they're doing with that, and that really is confusing. Like, there is moments where it's like, okay, maybe this is a crazy company and there's a lot of crazy moving parts, sure. Right. And then there are moments you're like, why would you do that? Yeah, yeah. And you're like, it doesn't even make sense. Is no one saying anything to anyone? Someone just has no. a idea and you're like, let's do that. And like, is Vince McMahon really just being like, hey, remember all those things we were doing about the um, her dad? They're in the garbage. I don't, I don't like that anymore. Yeah, rip it all away. Let's do a whole like, and they're not even like doing new ones. We just gonna just put her out there. Yeah, yeah. So, I liked her big hat before. I liked her big hat. She had a matching outfit. I like the Southern Belle one. Like it was exactly. a, the gimmick. Like yeah. she was a Southern Belle, but she was a naughty. Like she can be like she was a badass the Southern mm -hmm. Belle. Like she's gonna come out there. She's very proper. She had the, the you know everything, and then. She goes gonna kick your ass, like you know. I did like her last storyline when she got impregnated by Ric Flair. And then she really left because she was really pregnant. So I was like, did she have Ric Flair's baby? Like, yeah, like, like we want us all to forget that part. Yep, I cannot. There's moments in wrestling I will never forget. You know what this reminds me of, kind of, kind of, is Brodus Clay. They were teasing him for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. And they're all were like, he will destroy you. Destruction's coming. Bah! And he showed up and he was like, funky's on a roll. <laughs> funky's on a roll. It's like, wait, 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 wait. Why did you shoot all those vignettes before? And then ignore all of them and then just do something different. Lacey Evans feels like that a little bit. Yeah. Just yeah. Just a little bit. A lot. A, a lot. lot. A little bit. A lot. Yeah. A lot. So that's my, um, that was my what the heck award. Do you have a what the heck award? I, I'm gonna agree. Well, it's more so Lacey's gimmick and like, what am I supposed to believe now? Like, who? What? Are, what are we? Is she a good guy? Is she? A, is she a hill? Like, what's happening? She is she a face or is she a hill? That's my what the heck. My what the heck is why is Lacey dressed like Lita? Why? Why? What are we supposed to believe now? That's my what the heck moment. My question is why aren't we all dressed as Lita? That's what. That's who mm -hmm. be our our goals in life. Janko pants, thongs, and. Uh, Cut off t-shirts. Show that gut. Uh, let's move on though to the uh, the most valuable entertainer award, as always, for Sammy me. Zane. Sammy Zayn. Sammy Zayn. You gotta go, with Sammy Zayn. Unfortunately, he did uh, disgrace. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so sad. The good that name of the head. Yeah, of the head of the table, Roman Reigns. So now he can't be in the bloodline. I'm so sad because I really would have loved to see him in the bloodline. Like that would have been that story right there itself would have been so good. Yeah, because he would have been even more obnoxious. He'd but be he in all been, the meetings. Like, right, he'd be <laughs> just being obnoxious at all the meetings and like interrupting Paul Heyman yeah, or yeah. you know just like doing just like stupid stuff. But he would also be like the person that gets all like beat up all the time. Oh yeah, I think it would have been perfect. It would have been so good. Like I guess you have to have Riddle. Maybe they'll give him a second chance and still go with it. Maybe like at least two months of him. I'm trying in, to get on a great it. right, right. I can imagine it's like Paul Heyman, Roman Roman saying something and then like Sami Zayn repeating him like the last couple words. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. tonight we gotta take care of Riddle. We gotta take care of Riddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's yeah. him just looking at him and be like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 Oos, hey, Oos, you know, uh, you know, you're taking on uh, Angelo Dawkins. We're taking on Angelo Dawkins. 
just like yeah, repeating him. Destroy over him. Over. Yeah. 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 Crush him to pieces. So it's always Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn is Mr. Smackdown. I apologize, Mr. Mr. Rock. Oh, no. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Sami Zayn is the, he's the face of Smackdown. He's, he's one of the main reasons why I can still watch it and like, okay, there's something to the show. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Every morning I wake up and I acknowledge him. Yes. What are you doing in the morning? What, getting ready for work? <laughs> Taking care of your kids? <laughs> <laughs> I do that after I acknowledge. It's a religious thing. You would understand, I guess. Um, <laughs> what? So, yes, as always, Sami Zayn is Mr. SmackDown. It just doesn't, it, there's nobody else. Who I don't know else, how it's like, possible. Right. Like, why would you pick somebody else to not be the per- that person? I don't know, but we have to hand I don't know up. what show they was watching. <laughs> it's always Sami Zayn. We got to hand out like, either a thumbs up. A thumbs down or a thumbs in the middle. You can go a little crooked sometimes too for SmackDown. You put your hand out like this, folks. You can join us if you'd like. And three, and two, and one. Beep, 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 beep. Right there. <laughs> there you go. So you're in the middle. I'm okay. like a smidge above you. Okay. A smidge. I almost want to smidge down, but I was like, no, I'll just keep it in the middle. I'm neutral. It was one, you know. <laughs> If it had Shotzi, good and it had bad stuff, yeah. If Shotzi Blackheart is on TV, I'm happy. Well, yes, for sure, yes. That's where I'm at. Like, I, I'm at, that's where my SmackDown fandom is at this moment of, like, let's cheer the people I want to cheer and hope, right. to God, that they're on TV at least. Yes, yes. So there's hope. <sighs> I'll latch on to, like, three people and see how that goes. True, the whole, okay. The, the, the show as a whole, um, at least Sheamus did not fight a member of the New Day. Thank, oh my, if we had to endure that one more week, one more week. No, absolutely, no. No, no, no. I'm glad it's over. Hopefully it's not next week neither. It'll probably be next week. They're like, we're gonna break it up somehow. We're gonna break it with one week. I'll give them one week. <sighs> there you go, folks. Getting blue here on SE Scoops. We had a good time as always. I have a seat fall. She's Miss Chrissy Love. Have a wonderful weekend. And remember, watch NWA always ready. And I'm talking Monday Night Raw with my good friend Stephanie Hypes on Monday. So, folks, have a good one. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.